Hey guys, what's up? Alex here back with another Vegas Pro 11 tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a ripple effect in the program. So first of all you want to have your clip on the timeline. Now we're going to create a new video track and we want to go ahead and find a part where we want the effect to start occurring so you want to go ahead and select the video clip and press S to cut the clip and the length of the effect really depends on what you're trying to synchronize it to so for this example I'm just gonna sync it to this little dub set but then again the effect can be from a few frames to a few seconds long but for this example I'm gonna make it about 10 seconds long and once you hit the length of the effect press S again on the keyboard to make another slice and we're gonna have this little clip and that's gonna be our reference clip for the um, effect so you want to go ahead and click on the video and press U to separate the audio from the video and we're going to hold control, select the video clip, and drag it onto the new video track. Alright, so and then next we're going to add a fade offset to the top video clip. So you want to go ahead and place your cursor on the top left hand corner of the video clip. And this little icon should pop up click it and drag it to the uh, right and this little fade offset uh, display should tell you how many frames you're fading in so I'm going to fade it in about 10 frames or 12 and now you're going to notice nothing's really happening since this clip is only a reference clip and it's directly above the um, original video clip now for the actual effects we're going to go into our transitions and go to iris and we're going to get the circle out white border and we're going to apply the transition onto the fade offset and the length of the fade offset uh, influences how long the uh, the transition lasts so if you play it through you're going to notice a white circle is going out and that's basically our reference effects uh, for the compositing mode. Now the compositing mode we're going to use is called the Sony height map. So again on the new video track we're going to go into our compositing mode and change it from source alpha to custom. And we're going to go ahead and select the Sony height map and when you browse through your effects you're going to notice that the effect uh, is basically showing up but we're going to tweak a few settings in the Sony height map first so again uh, what we want to do is set the edge pixel handling to wrap pixels around so that when you play it through there won't be any empty black spaces around your clip and now and it's really important that well, when you're tweaking the settings of the height map uh, you want to go to the very first frame of video because it's going to automatically keyframe the height map throughout the timeline and we're going to set the smoothness to about 25 it can be between 20 and 31. Now as for elevation you want to set it to 0.2 and amplitude to about 0 0.05. And again you can change the settings for the amplitude and the height scale or the elevation. Uh, it really depends on how much 
uh, displacement you want within your effect and this looks good now another thing that I like about using the transition for the reference clip is that when you go into the transition settings so this little icon here called transition properties you can change basically the offset of the displacement within the transition effects so if you go ahead and go to border uh, if you increase it it's going to increase the displacement of the Sony height map. If you decrease it, it's going to decrease the displacement of the height map. So that's another option that you can control with this effect. So let's go ahead and preview this effect. And if the effect is a little too slow for your taste, what you can do is uh, decrease the frames of the fade offset. Or if the effect is too slow, uh, you can increase the fade offset. Alright, and now we got one of the effects done. And if you want to create the multiple ripple effect, all you need to do is right click on the effect track and duplicate it and we're going to get the same video clip and move it towards the right and the first frame of each uh, effect should only be separated by around five or four frames and you want to create about one more video track actually duplicate the track again and get the fade offset and make sure there's five frames in between each video clip and now you got three and you don't want to create more uh, duplicate more video tracks because that's gonna take up a lot of your timeline space so with the three existing tracks we're going to take the first one and again duplicate it by holding control selecting the clip and it's dragging it out to a different location and now the effect should look something like this and that's the end of this tutorial I hope you guys liked it if it did please give this video a like and comment on it so if you have any problems with the tutorial or any step of this video just ask me in the comments and I'll reply to them as soon as possible again if you want more videos please subscribe and watch my videos weekly and I'll see you guys next time